Hi, I'm Steve Armstrong and in this video we're going to talk about how to manage the transition between the scene creation phase of sand tray and the processing phase. Before you view this video, you, you must view the two-part video of my sand tray session with my wife Debbie because everything we're going to do right now, I'm going to refer to that uh, video several times. I'm going to show you a clip from it and it'll it'll just make a lot more sense if you view that video first. Okay, now let's talk about this transition. After the client creates her scene in the humanistic approach, it's usually best to start out with a focus on the client's experience rather than the tray itself. And that's that's really important because you're going to sit down, you're going to see the scene. It's real easy to have the client's attention on the scene and your attention on the scene right from the beginning. But, but in this approach, the humanistic approach, it's really better to focus on the client and her experience before you shift the focus. Now, what I typically ask at the beginning of the processing phase is I ask this question, what is it like to create this scene? And in the video you're going to see in the little clip I show you in a minute, that's what I ask my wife Debbie. Now this question gives the client a bridge between the, the scene phase, scene creation phase that just happened to now we're talking about the tray and it encourages the client to focus on her experience uh, of, of creating the scene. It would be very easy to ask and a typical mistake of a lot of therapists to ask what was it like to create this scene? Now, one of the reasons in humanistic sand tray therapy that that would be a mistake is because we try to keep as our home base the moment or the here and now. And if you ask what was it like, it leaves the moment. Another purpose of this question is that it allows the client to describe her experience rather than analyze it. Many therapists make the mistake of really trying to get a client to talk about her feelings, but they, they slip up and, and the question actually encourages her to think about her experience or analyze it. I think you'll see uh, in just a second here when we watch this clip that what this question did for Debbie was it helped her to focus on her experience. So now we're going to watch this short segment from part one of my sand tray session with Debbie. So. Uh, what is it like to create this scene? Are you crying? <laughs> well, just go slow. You're, it brings up feelings, and just just go slow with it. Well, this is a scene of uh, my life and my family, and. My intention when I asked Debbie what is it like to create this scene was to begin with a focus on her experience. And as you can tell by Debbie's response, she focused on how it felt to create the scene rather than analyzing it. This is really important. I can't emphasize how important that is in humanistic sand tray therapy. Now many sand tray therapists don't do it this way. Many sand tray therapists begin the processing phase of a session by focusing on the tray. They, they, just like I mentioned earlier, the, the scene, it's very easy to do that because the scene is there in front of you and it's, and it's, almost, like, it's almost like there's a magnetic pull to the tray rather than uh, to the client. But in humanistic sand tray therapy, the focus is on the experiencing of the client. The scene and the sand tray is very important, very important, but not as important at the very beginning there and throughout the session. It's not always the main focus. It's not always the most important. A lot of times that we're more focused on the emotions of the client in the moment. We want to be very attentive 
to the client's nonverbal behavior because what the client is experiencing in the moment is our main focus.